of with Military Wife Homeschool Life. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the daily learning notebooks. These are from Confessions of a Homeschooler.com. She is awesome. She has tons of free printables. She has some e um, even some curriculum that you can download. It's really inexpensive, but She's great, so definitely check her out. She does have a YouTube channel too, and I will link that below in the descriptions along with the website. So this is the pre-K version. Um, that's not part of it. This is just Ezra's Bible coloring pages that she keeps in here. I put this in myself. Each of the kids has one of these. Ezra just has her first name. She can trace that. And then these are the months. It's kind of all sketched out for her so that she can just trace it. Down here they will put what the weather is like that day. And at the end of the month they circle the most common weather. And those are really cute. Um, the reason these aren't in sleep protectors is because she has them dated out by the year. So um, I would either print out extra ones um, for her to use because we do our school year January to December so we'll go past July with this <laughs> or um, I'll kind of make one for her and myself or I'll show you the older kids in a minute but you would have to actually print those out so those don't need to be in the sleeve protectors um, this goes through the days of the week and it goes Sunday to Saturday at the top they Circle the day of the week, trace it, color the number day, write today's number, write the number before, the number after, and then down here, they write the number word. And what she did different this year was these handy little things. So they come with these and you can cut them out and it goes from one to 31. And what you can do is just slide it in here and then they can just trace the number word, which is going to be great Ezra. She hates writing, so I'm not going to try to make her write a number word for preschool. Um, then it goes into the time and the weather. Uh, for this, I probably won't make her really do it unless she wants to. I do have a Mickey Mouse clock in here, and I can put the hands where they're supposed to go, and she can just copy me from that and I can help her with the digital time if she wants to, but I'm not going to really push it for her. Same with this. We do have a thermometer right outside our window in this classroom, so she can color it if she wants. I feel like if she sees the other kids doing it, she'll want to, but she hasn't wanted to do school yet. And then when she turned four, I was like, are you ready for school? And she says, yes. So hopefully <laughs> she'll want to do some stuff. Um, <clears throat> And then they color what they would wear for the weather outside. On the back is the 100 days of school chart. I might take this out and let them put stickers on it, but my plan was to just do a check mark with um, dry eraser. They kind of really want me to do stickers, so I mean, it's no big deal. We can print more of these off again later, so we'll probably take them out. But. And then Ezra goes through all the letters and it has little pictures and stuff. So when she does these, we will focus on one letter for two weeks. So if we did letter I, we would do letter I for two weeks each day. And I have a few other things that I would pull out and we would do letter I with. Um, so she would color letter I, color the pictures, and then trace letter I down here. And same thing for numbers. Her numbers go 0 to 20, and we would do the same thing. We would focus on a number for two weeks, and she knows quite a bit of her numbers, so she might not need the full two weeks, but we go January to December, so we'll probably focus on them for two weeks before we switch to something else to do. But she'll color, color the number, and it has dots. You're supposed to, um, you can leave these out and do, like, do a dot things, the little stamper things, and so they stamp one each day while they're learning about the number six, 
and this has six dots, obviously. That has five. And so, but I'll probably just let her color the number and then um, trace the word. So that's how we're gonna do that. And then back here they have shapes. She knows all of her basic shapes, but I like how she has some that are not, like it goes into hexagon, crescent, octagon, pentagon, and trapezoid. So I feel like that's really neat because Ezra really likes shapes. So I feel like she'll enjoy this part. And I'll probably just have her color the shape and trace the word. Or we have some little block type things and I might have her like try to fill in it with with the block. I don't know if that will work. But and then back here is I can write my name. This is my absolute favorite part. I love seeing progress. So um they write their name once each month and you can just see how they do over the year and how they progress and it is so cute i really like it and so that is the pre-k version of the daily learning notebook um each of my kids have one and i was going to just show you the difference real quick but what i wanted to say is yes there's nothing written in these because we do our school year from January to December and we did do these I guess it would be this year but the beginning of this year and I had just bought way too many other homeschooling books it was just a lot and this kind of just was left on the shelf and like no we're not really going to do that today because we had a lot of other things that I wanted to do but this year I've kind of decided well this coming up year I've decided that we're going to kind of start out simple if we want to add more things we'll add more things but this is definitely going to be part of our morning they'll do this for morning bible and their handwriting for morning they do their handwriting in the morning because it's something they can do by themselves and it kind of gives me time to deal with the baby and I'll help Ezra with this and do a few other things while they're doing their handwriting so that's kind of why there's nothing written in these because we kind of gave up on them and i cleaned all them so nova and Kelsey's is the same they have the kindergarten version she has pre-k kindergarten and elementary level and so the only big difference is i put this in with their middle and last name to trace um they have their month, but they fill in their own numbers. So that goes through all the month. And I did put these ones in sleep protectors because it doesn't go by the year. So we can reuse those. Their days of the week are the same. This is a little different. They have how many days have you been in school in hundreds, tenths, and units. Their parts the same. Their clock is different. So at the top, they write the digital. Over here, they put the hands on the clock. And then what time was it an hour ago? What time will it be in two hours? So that's that's pretty cool. I like that. And then for these, I had them cut out in Ezra's, which you're supposed to cut them out, but they're older. So I feel like if they don't want to write the word back here, they don't want to try to write it out. They can come in here and just find the number word for the day and trace it. It's just <clears throat> easier for me. I won't have to help three girls slide whichever number word into their thing. And they're old enough, they can come and find it and just trace it themselves. Okay, for the 100 day, they have the 100 day chart on the back, which I talked about we might take out and do stickers on. And then they have this one. So this is the tally mark. So we keep track of the number of days we've been in school each month with tally marks and at the end of the month they write how many days we were in school so that's pretty neat and then the girls they know their letters and <clears throat> i'm pretty sure they know i mean nova kind of struggles with numbers so she doesn't know all of them to 20 but kelsey knows all her numbers to 20 like she can recognize them 
But the part I like is it goes zero all the way to a hundred. And I put them, I really wanted the numbers in here because Nova does struggle with numbers. The girls wanted the letters. I asked them if they wanted their letters in here and they said yes. So that was kind of just what I did. I don't think that the kindergarten one comes with letters. It may, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It does come with numbers all the way to 100 though. So I really liked that idea. <clears throat> and then back here, like I said, we did do this. We started in March. That's when I found these. And they did write their name one time. So we did it once. We did it probably that month and that was it. And uh, I just kind of left this in here. I'll probably erase that and have them redo it. We're going to start these in January. If not sooner because they really are excited for it. They've been watching me put them together. So they're like, when can we start that? So Nova and Kelsey's is the same. That's the kindergarten one. And then Aiden's is the elementary level. So it's really simple. I put his name in there. He writes out his month and his days. Um, he writes all that. Because it looks a little different, but it's basically the same concept. Same with the girls. Same clock as the kindergarten girls. And then the tallies. Hunter chart. And his name. So his is, you know, simplified because he already knows most of the things that the girls have in theirs. But these are great. We really I mean... I loved it last year. It's just like I said, I had too many things going on. So we just kind of sat them aside. But this year we are picking them back up. And this year this is basically what Ezra will use for preschool. I do have a lot of other preschool things. But it's it's more like fun game type thing. So this is basically what she would use for what we call seat work. And this is what she will do. She's... She's not going to do much to start off because, like I said, I don't want her to hate school because she doesn't really like doing it. So I'm hoping to get her to kind of like it and learn to love it. But these are from confessionsofahomeschooler.com and I will put the links below and I hope that you check her out. Thanks guys.